Hello my friends, I hope you're doing well, I hope you're doing good, I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. We're back here in the desert playing some Forever Stranded and man, we are trying to get off world the best we can. Now in yesterday's episode, man, we jacked around for, oh man, what seemed like forever. <laughs> trying to get all these machines up and running and I think there's probably at least one more that we're gonna have to build but we're gonna try to knock out a couple more quests at the beginning of this episode and then we're gonna see what we can do from there so let's jump in here and get started instead of just chit-chatting let's get our hat back on I just went up topside a minute ago and filled up my battery it was getting a little low it was doing okay Let's uh, make sure we throw some junk in here that we don't need we don't need those guys for now let's just check out our diamond supply uh, yeah, we got a stack plus four man we need a lot more than that we need uh, three stacks of diamonds Are these guys okay yeah everybody running in here they're doing their deal anything backed up uh, yeah gravel and dirt seems to be a little backed up that probably means we need to look for an upgrade here let's see upgrade nope oh my goodness go up there okay there we go upgrade yeah we have a couple Let's just get these like this. Let's find dirt. It's filled and gravel is filled. Okay. Yeah, that should fix that little backup issue that we have. Let me just make sure we see items coming out of this guy now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's taken care of. That's good to go. All right, let's take a look at these quests because we're almost done, I think. So we're just going to have to get... Um, whatever this is so let's take care of this one first so we need 10 launch pads a fueling station and an unmanned vehicular assembler so let's take a look L A U N launch pad okay see so what's the deal here we need some okay concrete is that the, okay is that all it is concrete all right What's the chances of... Okay, obviously we can't do that yet. So let's take a look here. And let's see. Can we make some more? We need a bucket of water. Okay. Let's grab some buckets out of here. Let's just make a whole bunch of this stuff. Let's go up top side here. And we'll come over here to our little cheaty water situation. There we go. Got some water down. And let's head down down okay and we'll throw all these buckets of water in here except for this one let's put this guy right here yeah okay okay let's go back to LAU and there we go okay there's 24 I think that's probably gonna be enough now we need to look at yellow yellow dye Yeah, we have tons of dandelions. Okay, let's make some dye. Oh, we just used them all, but that's okay. L A U N. All right, launch pads. Let's make ten of these guys, just like that. Okay. All right. Now we need a fueling station. Go right there. Okay. F U E L I N G. Fueling station. All right, we need some things. So let's see. Uh, we need to make some iron rods. Let's make four of those. And we will make a fan. Okay. We make this. We can. Okay. And then we need one of these. Oh, we don't have any lime dye. All right, I need to go out in the desert and grab some cactus. Of course, it's nighttime. Let's sleep through the night. Oh, man, I don't even know how any... I have to... I'm going to have to spend some time after we get some of this stuff crafted and be watching some videos on how to fly to the moon or not the moon I guess fly up into space we gotta build ourselves a big old rocket I guess oh my goodness it's gonna be crazy all right let's see if we can't snag us up some cactuses yeah 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 I guess at some point I should have made a cactus form, but you know there's really no reason to make one when you live out here in the desert and there's cactuses everywhere you look. 
Let's grab this guy real quick. There's a guy over there. We're not going to worry about him, though. All right, let's go back down below. We'll throw this stuff in the alloy smelter and just get it cooked up real quick. It'll just take a second. We'll make some lime dye. All right, grab that and that. Okay. Let's go over here and dump this into here. All right, what was this thing that we were making? The... Um Fueling station. Okay, so we need to make some lime dye. There, we'll make some like that. And then we can make this guy. Alright. Here, we'll throw that in there. And then we should be able to make this. Yeah? Okay, fueling station. Done. And then finally, we need an unmanned vehicle assembler. Unmanned. Titanium alumide here okay we can make some of these all right let's get some titanium let's get make a whole bunch of these plates let's run over here to our rolling machine which seems to be working all right now that we know sort of how to run this guy so we throw that in there like that yeah that's pretty cool looking it's squishing those things out Let's let that run for just a second. The other thing I was going to do, I need to make some... Man, I'm getting a little bit low on a couple resources that are sort of key. But that's okay. I can get a stack of that, a stack of that, and a stack of gold. Man, we're low on gold. And let's put these guys in our alloy smelter so we can start making some of this uh, energetic outlet. We're going to need that in just a minute. Let's go over here back to our rolling machine. And let's grab these. That should be enough. Oh, whew. I hope you're having a good day. Today is Friday. That makes me happy. Okay, unmanned. Okay, we need to make some of these. One, two, okay. Dilithium dust. Dilithium dust. Dilithium. Okay, let's just see. Dilithium. Oh, we have we have tons of dilithium dust. Okay. Whew. I was getting a little nervous there for a second. Unmanned. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what is that in the middle? Rocket assembly machine. Oh dang it. Okay. Alright, how much titanium do we have? Uh, we have a little bit. Let's just be a little smart here. I'm not sure exactly how much we're going to end up needing, but let's throw this in the rolling machine as well and get this taken care of. You I'll go in there. I'll take this out. Okay. There's those. Oh, maybe I'm out of water. Okay, let's grab some water and put it in this thing. I should make a, like an infinite water source. I was talking to my friend Andrew, and he's like, oh, yeah, you'll probably need an infinite water source. Man, I'm not too worried about it. Let's just do it this way. There we go. Whoops. B-U-C-K. Let's get all of these guys out of here. Nope, you go there. You come out. Okay. Let's dump some water in this guy, and we'll just fill it up this way. I don't know how much more of this we're going to have to do, so we might as well put that in there, that in there, that in there, there. Now is it rolling? Doing its deal? Yeah, okay. There we go. Okay. Now those are cranking out. Let's just wait a second for those. And then I think we should be good to go. Let's take a look at this guy again while that's working. See, we need the rocket assembly machine. So that's going to be one, two. Okay. That should be good. 
We can make these, I believe. We can make that. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. All right, so let's go here. Those guys were coming out of there. Let's go over here and let that run for just a second, and we'll make the rest of the pieces parts that we need. So, while wow, we're waiting for that thing, so uh, unmanned. All right, we need this guy. So we need two of these. Okay, got that. We need one of these. Got that. And then we need a couple of these. Let's make these. We probably need that. Okay. There we go. And then it's just going to be a matter of making those two gears. Concrete. I think we probably have some concrete left over. I wonder why um, the concrete's a crafting recipe. Seems a little strange. All right, let's go do like this. Let's eat a little something. All right. And we will throw that in there. Okay. And man. Okay. And now we need to make these guys. One, two. Okay. And then we should be able to make this guy. Yes? Nope. What are we missing? I'm missing concrete? Alright. Let's go up here and grab some more water. Yeah, maybe Andrew was right. I should have had an infinite water source down there pumping water out. But, man, it's okay. We'll just do it this way. All right, go down, down. And then we'll go like this. Okay, dump all these guys back in there. This can go in there. One more time for unmanned. We need this and this and this. There's that and then this. unmanned vehicular assembler all right this quest is done all right we get a lifeblood crystal and we get some other stuff i think huh do i want advanced rocket engine i think that's what i want let's do those let's claim those and then let's get our extra life nice so we're back to nine health total okay all right, well, there we go. So I don't know how to use any of this stuff. <laughs> All right, let's just take a look here and see. So the last quest in here, new home, we need to get a light wood sapling. And then we get extra life. We get loot chests, another star generator, and some dragon's breath cartridges. Find a planet that is like Earth. You have traveled far from having nothing to space travel. You've done well to get this far. Now it's time to rest and take it easy on your new home planet. Well done. Okay. So I need to do some work and see if I can find out exactly how to get up into space. Oh my goodness, I think I might need a spacesuit too. Let's see. Spacesuit. Liquid fuel tank. That's just some steel. We don't really need a jet pack, do we? Steel fan, brown wool. All right, let's see if we can make this maybe. Uh, space space boots can I make space boots? I can, okay space suit alright, can I make this? Uh, I need to make some more steel rods okay alright, there's that and then mm, let me make a fan <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, there's that. And then I need to make some space pants. Spacesuit leggings. Where's my helmet? A helmet. Where's like the space helmet? How about we go here and go... Advanced rocketry, beacon finder, anti-fog visor. Okay, why don't I see the the helmet? 
Oh, space helmet, right there. Can I just make that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Here, let's put our suit on. I think I want to see what it looks like. Suit it up. Oh my goodness, we're ready to go. We have our wings still. <laughs> That's awesome, I love it. Okay, we got the crazy space suit going on. Let's keep all that stuff there. Let's put this back on. We don't want any trouble. All right, so now we have, I guess, all the pieces part. So now I need to go off camera and do some investigation. Figure out how to see if we can build this stuff. How am I doing with steel? I st I'm still doing okay with steel. All right, and we still have lots of plates and stuff like that. All right, so we should be in pretty good shape. So let me go off camera. I need to do some investigation on my own to figure out how to actually build a rocket and get it up into space. I mean, I would assume we're going to have to go put our launch pad down somewhere. Uh, probably up top there so let me do some research and i'll be back with you in just a second Alrighty, my friends we are back man i have been playing for a good while been making a couple new machines i'm going to take you up here and show you what we've got going on here and then we're going to get ready i think we're close so i've got all i moved first of all i moved all my machines out of the uh the the underground base i brought them up here where we could actually see them and work with them and i think this is a lot better i mean i think this is is much better so we can get to these guys if that makes sense the other thing is i've got infinite water source filling uh, my rolling machine up with water and i've got an infinite water source filling up my electrolyzer and I think I've got them all done now that is chemical reactor I found my suit workstation I got that from I think the like the modern city but I've got all these machines laid out up here and I think we're finally ready to really start taking care of some business around this joint so uh, do I have some blocks no I mean why do I always forget simple things so let's go down here we gotta get some dirt so we can stack around do what we need to do all right let's go over here and grab a stack of dirt all right, so the only thing we have left to do is get power to all these machines, and I think we're in good shape then. I also, as you can see, expanded our little base area here. Just dug out a little bit further. Uh, yeah, we're in pretty good shape here, I think. Um, you, uh, you can stay there for now. Okay, so we've got a bunch of various power plugs, and I'm going to try to use, if I can, immersive engineering wires to feed these because I don't think any one of these guys needs like a tremendous amount of power so I'm gonna go over here and put down let me see where does this guy go right there and this that one's on top okay okay so we can take this guy offline and I think oh there's a little bit of server lag there or something okay so I think we're gonna go like right here all right and then we're going to put in the back of this guy, one of these. And then I made an iron chest, and we're going to set that guy right there. And then inside this, my bag of holding, I have tons of nether stars. Stacks on stacks of them. So let's put these... Oh, hello. I'm getting a little bit of lag here. I might have to uh, bounce my server real quick. So we're going to load up this chest with some nether stars, and that should be enough right there. We just need to go down here and make this guy extract, always active, this guy insert, right? And then that should be enough to get this thing fired up, right? So, yep, we're generating tons and tons of electricity, power, almost at 100 RF a tick. And then I'm going to plug on one of these LV wire connectors right here, okay? And then we're going to just start feeding power into these guys. And here's how we're going to do it. Did I only get one piece of dirt? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. What in the world is wrong with me? Okay, down, down. Let us get more than one piece of dirt. How about an entire stack of dirt? There we go. All right, let's head on back up here. And we're going to start right here. So let's get one of these deals like... Um, there we go. Um, is that high enough? Yeah. Okay, let's go right there. And then I've got one of these balloons from Immersive Engineering, which I'm a big fan of. All right, now we can just knock all this stuff down. Okay. And then I've got a relay that we can plug in here, like so. Okay. Now, if I get this and this... And I bring power from that up to here. 
All right, now I should be able to put this away for now, get one of these guys, and we're gonna go like that, and then one up here. And then I can bring power from this guy to here, and this guy to here. Now, obviously this is a bit overkill, but that being said, we should see these guys loading up with power now. Precision assembler. Yep, that one's clear full. And what about this guy? Uh, that guy's gaining power at a high rate of speed. So those two guys are good to go now. And let me see, we have a power deal over here. I don't think I can reach it. So let's get our dirt again. So I'll be able to get these two and maybe this one if I'm smart here. So how about we go like right here? Okay, let's get our balloon out again. Whoops, put our balloon there. And we'll take these guys out and these guys out and those guys, okay? And then we're going to run another relay here. And we're going to bring wire across from this guy to this guy, okay? For a minute there, I thought it was going to be too long, but it's not. All right, power connector there. This guy can go away. Power connector here. And I think we can get away with getting a power connector on that guy. All right, so we can go up here, down to this guy right here. Yeah and then to here and then to here okay so all those guys should have power now let's just double check to make sure yep that guy's gaining power that guy's gaining power these are turned on right uh, that is now okay how about this guy's he turned on yep okay so now all those guys have power and let me see where's the next one I don't know if we can reach this far or not but let's try so we'll go like that. I'm pretty sure that's going to be too far away, but I will tell you in a second whether that's true or not. No! Yeah, that works. So we can bring power over there. Okay, and now we've got two more. So we've got there and there. Do I just want to bring the power straight across? And we'll sort of come down from the front side on those? I think we could probably do that. So let's get, let's keep our balloon. Uh, what can we get rid of? Let's get rid of that for now. Okay. So let's go up, one more maybe, balloon, I was it was awesome, I had three of those balloons sitting in there, I don't know if we ever used those for anything, okay, and then we need a relay, and then we're going to bring a wire across to here, okay, and then it should just be as simple as getting a power connector here and a power connector there, and we can go from there to there and there to there now that should be all those machines and it looks awesome too I love the way those wires look they sort of you know kind of get in the way but those balloons make them so much easier this guy let's turn him on this guy let's turn him on yeah he's getting power uh, this guy that's already turned on okay and what about this guy He's now turned on, the lathe is turned on, and this guy's turned on. So all these things should be good to go. Oh, it's awesome. All right, now, I have some stuff in my inventory. Let's go to this guy first. So input hatch, I need um, this, I need this, this, and this. And then this guy should be doing its deal. I don't know if we saw this. This is a new, this is the precision assembler. I think this is new. I don't believe I had this thing built the last time. But we're making like a fancy, a fancy schmancy thing here. It's like a some like a special circuit plate and we can go like this oh hello don't crash on me game all right now we've got an advanced circuit plate which is awesome now if we go over here to the saw and put this in here like that this thing's going to fire up and it's going to run it across the saw blade Man, it's awesome i love these machines and then these should be done as well. So now we have some advanced circuits and we need those for something. Everything else should be working pretty good. I think the other thing I need to do is get some titanium because this guy, I believe, fluid hatch, he's got hydrogen building up and oxygen. And then over here we put in something. I can't remember what we put in. So this is fluid input that's something I can't remember what it is and then this is gonna be um, out right input input where's the output output hatch yeah 
Okay. I'll have to see if I can figure out exactly how to use that chemical reactor. So there's all the pieces parts. Now, I think I can pro and this guy is probably not even suffering, right? Has it even used one nether star? Yeah, it used one, right? One nether star so far. So we're in good shape. It's got 16 million RF in it. We'll never use that. And we can get away with using the LV wire just because we're never going to have, you know, tons and tons of stuff going on around here. Okay. So let me take these advanced circuits down here because I want to do just a couple little suit upgrades. Let's put these in here like this now we have this space suit and we've got a suit workstation up there so if I look at suit we have all these different what is this called space suit uh, what are these modules modules that's what they are okay um, I don't know how, what are they, I don't know what those things are called got some pressure tanks that's good some of the other odds and ends. Warp core, unmanned vehicle assembler, fueling station, drill. Uh, we got some odds and ends from our ex exploration. Okay, but I want to make I'm going to make this guy right here, which is like an advanced a bionic leg upgrade. <laughs> so we can make this guy. Um, do I already have a, this guy by chance? No. Okay, so let's make this. We need some steel rods. Let's make some of those. Now we should be able to make this guy. Uh, we can make the motor, okay? And then we can make this guy. This We already have that thing. And then we can make this one, okay? And then we should be able to make this guy right here. So that all goes in the precision assembler. Oh my goodness, so. Okay, we need this. We need this, and then a motor. We need that, okay. All right, and I also wanna make some, I need to make some super high pressure tanks. All right, so I can make those. What can I make? Anti-fog visor, basic lens, okay. Um, we need some uh, glass panes like this let's make 16 of those okay so we want this fog visor right nope fog visor uh, anti-fog visor so we can make this right this right there and where does this go precision assembler as well okay so we need one of these let's make this we'll put that there and then we have an advanced circuit so advanced circuit and what do we need? Fog. And then we needed one of these small batteries. Small battery. Okay. Let's get all this stuff. Now let's go up here and make these couple things. And then we'll apply them. Oh man, it's nighttime. Let's sleep through the night. And I'm gonna I need to make some more of these. I think I need to figure out. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to get some titanium. Uh titanium. Let's get these. Bring these with us. Okay. Let's sleep through the night real quick. And then I think we're going to be able to go up here and get some of the stuff made and get it applied to our suit. And then we're going to be looking sweet. Now, you could do things like jetpacks and stuff like that. I don't need a jetpack. Uh, I'm not, I, I have the ability to fly, so I'm not too worried about it. So I should be okay. So precision assembler. Let's go over here to the input hatch area. And we need to put in one of these. We need to put in this and one of these. And those should all disappear. Yep. So it's still a steel. It's construction. Oh, that looks awesome. I love it. Okay. And then we can put this, 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 and that in. And then we're going to get our visor coming across. Okay. So the other thing we can do is take our... I think we can put in our rolling machine these. And I think it's going to convert those things from being sheets... To, or for being, um, yeah, so from being plates to sheets. Let me see, what can we, is, this, is it, do we just run these back through? Rolling machine? Yeah, so two sheets gives me a super high pressure tank. So we can make two of those. Input hatch, and we'll just let those run for a second. We're gonna have to get some more titanium. But these upgrades should be done. 
So let's take a look here. So there's our anti-fog visor and this thing. Now we come over here to our suit workstation and we put this guy there. We're gonna put that there and then we just take it out, right? And it's been upgraded now. And then we put our legs in like this and then we can put this in. And now we have those two, those two awesome things. So if we put, let me see this and Let's just put our whole thing on here. So we put this on, this on. Now you see we have this little like tooltip thing in the top. So first of all, we can sprint really fast because we've got like crazy, crazy running ability. Okay, so how, what modules can I put on the suit? Okay, let's put this over here. Okay, um, tank. I think I can put some tanks. I wish I knew exactly what modules you could put where. Large tank. I think I can put these guys on here. Yeah. Oh, it tells me two tanks. Okay. Tank of nitrogen, tank of hydrogen. Okay. Let's go over and grab these. Oh man, my legs are like going crazy. <laughs> I got the crazy legs. Let's grab these guys and we can put this and this on there and then take that out. And if we put this back on, now you see we have like the ability to hold more stuff. Yeah? Okay. And what can I put on my legs? I put these over there like that? Doesn't tell me what I can put. Maybe that's the only thing I can put. Oh, I don't want to take that off. Leave that on. Okay, and then these guys I can put like, I know I can put the like the, uh, the feather falling thing. So I need to figure out exactly what else I can make from a suit perspective. But now we have night vision, which is what this guy is right there. This thing has the anti-fog visor, which I'm pretty sure is night vision. So we can see at night now, which is pretty cool. And I think the only other thing I need to do is I need to start getting, I need to get some more titanium. And then I need to make some tanks. And I think next episode, we're going to be ready to build a rocket and launch it up into space and maybe make a space station even. Oh, check us out, man. We're so cool. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from the desert where we have made one closer step to leaving this joint. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.